in the name of Allah the Merciful. Welcome to a new episode of our beautiful world. In this episode, we'll get to the difference between scientists and philosophers. If we bring, if we bring a big animal, a very big one, and put it in a, sm- in a small room with small holes in its walls, when someone comes and looks through, he won't see except a little part of it. For example, an elephant. And do it the same and ask someone, what is the elephant? He'll say it's two big ears. And if we ask another, he'll say it's a big long trunk. And so on. So every person doesn't see the elephant full. So if we assume that this elephant is the universe and people looking through the holes are scientists, each scientist sees the world only from the side of their specialization. For example, if we ask a plant scientist about metal or anything else except plants, He'll say, I don't know that much about it, like that, per- that scientist of this specialization. And so on. So if a nature scientist or a plant scientist looks only to the object, if scientists look only to the object, who looks more? Who looks above the object? For the surface, for example, the wall is the object. Scientists, when when they come to the wall, they see only the wall. But for the surface, look above the wall. They look to what's behind nature, and that is the difference between nature scientists who look only to the object. He look only to the subject itself and philosophers who search what's beyond nature and behind the object.